So welcome to this week's episode of Another Cross on the Map. And we're a little excited today because what's- It's van day. So we're gonna head out to Adelaide RV to meet Jeb again and get the keys. He's gonna show us around the van. What did we do last night? We sat there and watched Stephen, the expert, go through what it was an hour and a half of handover video, but. It's a long one, but very informative. Yeah. I so, hope you were paying attention. I dozed off a couple of times, but it came back. That's all right. We bookmarked it. We can come back to it later. Exactly right. But um, so we've got a couple of questions we need to ask, but um, basically we're just going to go there, pick it up, bring it home, see how we go with towing it, which is a bit daunting. We picked a nice day or Saturday to do it when hopefully there's not too much traffic. Yep. But then we'll come home and we'll introduce it to the dogs. The puppy dogs. Yes, and see if they approve. Hopefully they give it the tick of approval. Two paws up. Two paws up, yep. And um, yeah, and hopefully I can reverse it into a driveway. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, so we'll yeah, take you out and yeah, go pick up the van. Let's do it. So basically, I'll have one of these. You guys will have one of these. So what we're going to do is roll through. So this is our client delivery checklist. All right, so basically throughout today, it will teach you how to use everything on the inside of your caravan. Now, I'm assuming you guys have probably already watched the little video as well. Yeah, sweet. So that's gonna obviously give you something to go back on. It's broken up by chapters as well. So if you're ever unsure, you can go back into that YouTube video, have a look at that, click on whatever particular item you're looking on how to do, and then you can then hone in on a specific video on exactly how to do that. But do that. But this today will be more so running through, um, starting at the front of the caravan. We'll be going through obviously the 12 pin plug, the couplings, and then it rolls through everything on the outside of the caravan as we go around the driver's side. We'll then come back around the back of the van and we go through then into the inside of the caravan and then we'll go through using uh, or showing you how to use everything on the inside of the caravan. And then it's um, basically question and answer time. So if anything in particular that you want to hone more in on um, throughout that process. Um, so things like the um, battery management system, people like to get a little bit more information on the fridge, how to operate that on different um, energy sources, get a little bit more information on that as well. Basically, we've started here and we've gone through our 12 pin plug all the way through all the other bits and pieces around the outside. This is where we're looking at your tank system around the other side, the toilet cassette, around the back of the van, our spare wheel, jacking points, coming around to the pull out step, showing you about the door, and then obviously picnic table and outside bits and pieces here. So we're pretty well down to our identification plate and the payloads, and then we're jumping on the inside. So I might just show you that in the boot quickly. So this plate here, okay, this one here is what tells us all the weights that you can carry, all right? So it's exceptionally important that we make sure we've already established that the Triton can tow this van and we did that during the sales process, all right, when we we're talking around the weights and exactly what the car could tow. But now it's really important that you guys don't go and put too much inside the van, okay? So here we got a tear weight of 2361 and then obviously you put your water in it, you put the gas, you put all your food, all your gear inside of it and then the maximum the van can weigh is, is basically smack on three tonne. Okay, so it's just making sure we don't go over that number. Sure. All right. When, um, if your insurance company or anything you need any information, that is here, the VIN number and everything's all stamped on that. And obviously the date of manufacture being the 1st of uh, 2023. All right, Wonderful. so that's that one there. But yeah, it's just really important that we make sure we're all over the weights and the payloads. All right. But we'll jump inside now and get the fun stuff. Just one question before yep. we do head inside, and that's to do with the water tanks. Yes. So we fill the water tanks. Yep. We go and we use the shower, we use the bathroom, etc. Yep. yep. We use the kitchen. Yep. And then we bring it home and the water tanks still have water in them. Yep. How do we empty them? Yeah, look, I what I recommend is to actually leave some water in the tank don't drain it 100 okay. but then before you then go again 
drain it to zero and then freshen it back up again. Perfect. All right, so I find if it really goes completely dry, then there's an opportunity for things to start kind of growing in there, getting a little <laughs> bit of algae, a bit of yuck inside that. of it. So I always say, leave. everyone's got a different view on this. My take on it is leave a little bit of water in it at the start, but then always freshen it up before you use it again. The last thing you want to do is then go back out and be showering in water that's been you know, stagnant for two months. After you. <laughs> there you go. You basically have your washing machine here on the back wall, your toilet down there. There's just a single flush button on the toilet. Mm -hmm. Now you will see there's a little um, picture of a cassette at the top there. Okay, when that illuminates, that means the cassette is full. Okay, right. so that's when we stop using it and it's time to empty it. Okay. The last thing we want to do is keep using it when that is full because again, there's only so much capacity that that can, can handle. Wonderful. All right, we're moving down to the fridge. One question while we are in the bathroom. Yep. At home, I have some beautiful soap and hand wash and hand yep. cream. Yep. And they're drilled into the wall. Okay. So can I do that in the van? Uh, in certain spots, okay. So at the end of any of your overhead cupboards, so like this panel here, for example, is solid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so kind of internal partition walls are fine yep. because these are solid. Just keep in mind the width of the of the timber here, the panel. So making sure we're only getting small screws going in. We don't want to be coming through the other side. But any of your side walls, okay. So out here on the side or any of the side walls. Obviously, you've got cables running through there, okay? So all there's, there's wires going through for any of the lights. So just be very careful to not go in alongside of a light. There will be timbers and um, studs in the wall. So we wanna make sure that we're screwing into a frame and not just screwing into ply. Right. Okay, so like if you aim, you kind of can hear it. So like, mm -hmm. if, or, or you can from Bunnings, you can buy like stud finders. We've got one of those. Yeah, so if you run your little stud finder across there, you'll be able to find that. But basically you can kind of hear it hollow. And then as close as we get to the door, you mm. kind of hear that gets a little bit firmer. Yeah. So the closer to any of your openings is going to be framework. Underneath any of your um, windows or anything like that is gonna be framework. However, on the overhead cupboards and stuff, these are all fine. So we have a master switch at the top. Okay, so that's our black switch. We then have our pump switch here. And this one that's not um, noted here, this is a fan switch. So in the real hot weather, you can turn that on and a fan will come on behind the back of the fridge. All right, so it's a little fan for the fridge. Hot water system, whether we want to run that on electric or on gas, okay, that's up the top up here. Mm -hmm. Our touchscreen CD player or audio player, um, I don't think they even take CDs these days, but it's all Bluetooth <laughs> and, um, and whatnot, so you'll be able to, you'll be able to tune that in. Uh, and this is our Red Arc Manager 30, okay, so this will tell us um, all sorts of information about our power coming in. So we're going to have two big solar panels on the roof. The sun will obviously go through the panel, produce power, this regulates it before it goes into the battery. So basically, you know, without getting too technical, why is that important? You wanna be making sure you've got power coming through so we can be having the lights and whatnot that we got going on here. If this starts beeping and carrying on at you, you know, obviously we're running low um, and we need to try and get to a spot where we can plug into 240 volt or at least get somewhere where we can put it out in the sun, yep. When you store it, it's really important as well to go into storage mode. So basically, if you press these arrows down, you'll get to the fourth one down, it says change mode. Okay, so you say charging status mode touring, touring meaning you're actually out and about. Mm -hmm. You can go down and you can select between touring and storage. So if I press that down arrow, I can then go next and then confirm it into storage. Perfect, All so right. that's when we're parked in the driveway. Yep. We're not going anywhere for a little while, yep. much like the water tank. Exactly. That's the exactly right. at home setting. Yep, yep, spot on. Basically, if we go through here, we've gone all the way through um, so we've talk, spoken about the, the um, operation of the fridge, operation of the water pump, all the gauges, the battery management system, your lights, power points, TV, uh, table operation we've gone through, uh, the air conditioner up on the roof. We've got our rollout awning on the outside. We can go through that if you like on the rollout awning. Um, again, you've probably had a bit of a watch of that on the video, but again, we can do that again. And obviously all your remote controls are all, as we've seen down there, inside of the cupboard. Um, basically all there is left to do now is to assist the hook onto the vehicle and take a photo of a smiling customer. Fabulous. There you go. Let's get it done.